Hello. Okay, so I've had a lot of questions um, since I've been talking about Advent. Advent starts um, four Sundays before Christmas. And so Advent this year started on November 30th, which, um, or December 1st, not November 30th. The Novena started November 30th for St. Andrew Novena. Different thing. But I've been getting a lot of questions on what we do in our home. So we do a few different things. So we used to buy those chocolate advent calendars that you peel away. First of all, the chocolate's really crappy. <laughs> I didn't care for it. Plus we have eight kids. Well, we have nine kids, but seven or eight of them are participating or want a chocolate every day. So we actually have these little boxes right here. Um, and I've taken pictures, so I make a little box and I put eight chocolates of the chocolate of our choice in there so we get to decide. A lot of times we do kisses. Um, you can do whatever chocolate you guys like. So that's what we do. We have a box of chocolates for all 25, chocolate for all 25 days leading up to Christmas. And we also do a Jesse tree. And so our Jesse tree every day, actually our Jesse tree is right there, this little, wooden pallet and so every day we add an ornament to our Jesse tree and we read a Bible verse. So today um, we actually have these countdown cards right here. This is what I was pointing to because on our countdown cards, which today is day two, we have something fun to do in there. So like today we're gonna make ornaments for somebody and then it tells us our reading, which is Genesis 1, uh, chapter 1, verses 1 through 23. It's a creation. Um, so yesterday we had Isaiah, and it talks about the stump and the sprig. So yesterday we put the stump and the sprig, and today when we go into our little advent box, we are going to see a picture of the world because it has to do with creation. So every day as we count down to the birth of Jesus, we um, have an ornament to put on our Jesse tree, a little bit to read out of the Bible, and then they have some really cool books that we've added in addition. So this is our Jesse tree book. You can get it on Amazon. And this is a story, and it's written a story form. So it's about a boy who sees a man, he's carving these and uh, these ornaments out for the Jesse tree of the church. And as he's ca carving them out, this little boy comes into the church every day, and the guy tells him the story of why this ornament is important to the Jesse tree. But what the Jesse tree is, is it is like the biblical retelling all the way up to the birth of Christ. So kind of like the timeline as it was foretold that Jesus was coming, the Messiah was coming up till the day that he is born. Another one is um, Advent Storybook, and this is the journey of a bear. Um, this one isn't really Jesse Tree at all, but it's fun to read, and it's one that we read every year, but it's a little bear's journey to Bethlehem to the star that he sees in the sky and along the way he, the path he meets different people and it tells us um, different stories of why we should be humble and why we should be grateful and whatnot. So the kids really like this one. And then this one is um, The Adventure of Christmas, so Advent. And in here is just fun things that kids can do to keep um, Christ in Christmas and it has recipes for different things. Another book you can grab on Amazon. So as we go through, like I said, the Jesse tree takes us biblically through it, but then there's different ways we can look at different scripture verses that tell um, the story up until the birth of Christ. So for me as a mom, I love the take up and read Advent um, devotions. So it reads scripture every day. Um, you do the Lexio, Lexio Divina, I always say it wrong, um, the Lexio Divina where you read the scripture, you take it in, you reread the scripture, um, and then you read it a third time to kind of see what part of scripture is speaking to you that day. So that's another fun way. But I really think it's important because Advent is the season where Christ is knocking and waiting for us to answer. We are preparing our hearts for the birth of Jesus. We're preparing our you know, hearts for Jesus to come into our life. So um, and this year we've added praying for different people, different things each day of Advent. But those are just some of the things that we do um, kind of as an Advent tradition. We add our ornament to the Jesse tree. We have a little fun thing to do in our envelope. We have our Bible verse that we're reading from um, or reading about why that ornament is important. And then we have added into our little prayer, um, sorry, into our little boxes where our world is, we have a a prayer request from somebody. So we, we pray for everybody in our Advent calendar, but we also pray specifically for like this intention that day, but we're, and then all the intentions for anybody who's asked for prayers. 
Um, and then typically we would take these down and we put our Christmas cards up there, but I actually made a different hook for our Christmas cards this year because every year I go searching for at least one or two of these numbers. And it's nice because the way I made them was just scrapbook paper. But if you wanna change these out, you can easily take them off and put a new piece of paper in there to change up the activity. Um, caroling, whatever it is, donating toys, because it's always good to get rid of things as we are getting ready for Christmas because we get more things. So there you have it. That's kind of our advent journey, but I definitely recommend the Take Up and Read. Um, you can find them on Amazon as well. They have different advent. This year's is O Radiant Dawn, or I think it's that's what it's called. Um, but they are great because it gives you that little bit of time and it's it's supposed to be a time of slowing down and preparing our hearts but we always feel like we're busy and pushed in eight million directions so having some sort of devotion some sort of biblical reading whatever it is helps us just to get in that advent season in that advent state of mind even if it is crazy and busy and we have 800 christmases and things to go to it still helps us to slow down so i hope that helped if you have questions please ask them below. Otherwise, I can also get you the link for any of the books that I mentioned in this video. Have a great day.